Okay, I am going to show you how to create a natural language search for your bot and retrieve the search results from a Google Sheet, all without writing a single line of code. And uh, I'm going to do my example uh, for restaurants. And so you can see here I have an intent uh, where you can uh, add a training phrase and you'll trigger an entity uh, for items that are on your menu. So you can see here I have uh, an entity called at menu, which I created. And in that entity, I actually refer to other entities. So I have uh, drinks, I have uh, different types of food. Maybe it's Chinese food or Italian food, um, all the dishes that are on the menu. Uh, and uh, at meal just captures whether they want to order dinner or breakfast or lunch. Uh, so uh, different entities that are contained within one entity. And then we can, in our intent, you know, I'd like to order pizza uh, that will hit our, um, uh, that will trigger our at menu entity. And I can add other phrases like uh, the same phrase, I'd like to order lunch. And you can see it also triggered that entity. And what uh, you'll wanna do is have duplicate training phrases. So just like we have, uh, I'd like to order pizza and that triggered the at menu entity. I create the exact same training phrase and then I will just add, you know, XXXXX, like just to indicate anything that is not on our menu. And I will assign it the at sys.any entity. And then I named the parameter not on menu. So duplicate training phrases uh, that are going to trigger intents if the user says i'd like to order something that is on our at menu entity then we can give them one response if it's not on our menu uh or sorry if it doesn't trigger um our at menu entity then we can give them a different response uh, so two parameters and then what we're going to do is i'm redirecting my response back to a many chat flow um, and the value is automatically saved in many chat uh once when when an entity is triggered uh, and that's because the parameter name here, menu, is a custom user field name. You can see that here, custom user field menu. So the value automatically gets stored in ManyChat when the user hits this dialog flow intent. Um, and then we can take that value and use that value to execute a search. So how do we execute the search? Well, the first thing we're doing is we're going to our, read, our redirect or our response from the intent is this flow. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see does the custom user field, which matches our parameter name and dialog flow, does it have any value stored? And if it does, uh, if it doesn't, then we can say, sorry, we don't have that on the menu. And uh, if it does, uh, I've added this thing here called bot sheets. Uh, and bot sheets is just a nice simple solution that allows you to search a Google Sheet. So there's a key that's required for that. There's a free key, you can use it to execute a search. So I can, I'll pass that in the request. So here's, uh, here's the flow and we'll just open that flow. Let's see what that looks like. It's just a dynamic request. And so if I click on uh, the form, and you can see it's making a request, uh, pass the key along in the request. Uh, we're gonna generate a gallery of search results. Um, so that's the format for Messenger, a gallery. Um, 10 is the, you know, the limit to which a gallery can have cards. So um, you can actually have more than, uh, more than 10 search results. You can have hundreds of search results and it'll automatically, if it, if it exceeds 10, it'll generate another gallery. There's a see more button. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is the Google Sheet ID, and I'll show you that. And this is uh, the menu, menu here. This is the Google Sheet that we're going to reference. And, uh, and so actually, let's look at that real quick. So here's my Google Sheet. Uh, you can see here, menu. So it's going to read from this sheet. Uh, and then I have a query. And so it's a standard query language that you can use. Uh, there's lots of documentation that, that BotSheets has on how to uh, execute different types of queries. This is a very simple query. We're looking uh, at column D, where D contains menu, because that is the custom user field that will store the value that we capture from the dialog flow intent. So user sends a message, 
hits a dialogue flow intent that gets saved to many chat in a custom user field called menu. And then we can use that value to execute our search. And all we're doing in this, it's a very simple query where D contains whatever the user's value is. And so we can look at column D. Column D is uh, this column that I've created called keywords. Uh, and uh, we're looking to see if uh, pizza exists. Uh, and you can see that we have keywords and we're just gonna look for a value. So now we can, uh, we can try it out. Uh, and I can just load up my little demo here. And uh, let's ask the bot a question. Um, uh, can I order pizza? There it is. So now we got a back search results uh, that looked for the keyword pizza in the Google Sheet, and we got back a gallery of results, and then we can order. And so, and you can, you know, spec you can make your queries anything you want. Uh, but I think the nice part about it is that. Uh, it's a, if you need to search for data from a Google Sheet, this is a really simple way uh, to do that. Uh, you know, there's no programming involved for you. It's uh, you just enter your data into the Google Sheet, and then you make the direct request uh, from uh, ManyChat, and then you just use the custom user field uh, where the value from Dialogflow is going to be stored to make that request. So you have a natural language search engine for your bot using a data source anyone can manage. Nice and simple. Hope that helps.